Art on Career Day. Coming up on Art Careers. This textile artist's career was inspired by her former neighbor, the Dalai Lama. Now she's a teacher and keeper of a very special ancient Tibetan tradition known as the Tanka. Learn the lore of this beautiful art form. The Dalai Lama encouraged me to use this traditional Tibetan artistic technique to make images and forms that would inspire people. And the medium could be wood, metal, or paint. If sculptor Bruce Gray can imagine it, he can pretty much build it. We're taking you to his hip Los Angeles studio space to see the big inspiration behind his kinetic art. You know, as a little kid, I just loved making intricate things. It just took me a long, long time to realize that that was really the correct road. Then, our next creation on Career Day, stained glass artist. From church windows to colored panels to art pieces, this architect turned artist shows us how to paint with glass. Beautiful color. When I create uh, stained glass in church, it's gonna... I find making art extremely rewarding. To be able to get up in the morning and have some wild idea in your head and literally be building it in five minutes. I just love that. What else could this career be but an artist? It might be wood, metal, or paint. If Bruce Gray can imagine it, he can pretty much build it. This is one of my rolling ball machines. This works completely by gravity. My best asset is my constant flow of new ideas. I just love what I do, so I get up and I have so many things that I'd like to do, it's tough to kind of narrow it down sometimes. This piece uses old bowling balls. This motorcycle seat is from an old train. This was inspired by the coral in his aquarium. And this one is positively magnetic. This is one of my favorite pieces. These are just totally held in force by magnetic power. My inspiration can come from just about anywhere. I find a lot of junk on the side of the roads or by the train tracks, just stuff most people would overlook. The pieces usually speak to you. This piece certainly said something to the producers of the TV show Charm, and plenty more in Hollywood. You've seen his works all over the screen, whether you've realized it or not. This was in Rush Hour. This was commissioned for Austin Powers. Bruce lives and works in his downtown Los Angeles studio, and he needs every inch of space to make his art this big. Okay, here comes the fun part. It can take months to finish just one piece. Since much of the art is done in metal, that means his brushes are welders, grinders, and plasma cutters. And they're not your typical artist instruments. But he's not your ordinary sculptor. When I was a little kid, I just loved making intricate things. It just took me a long, long time to realize that that was really the correct road for me. Bruce went straight from the Coast Guard and into art college. He even built a successful career at a design company, but he always had a vision for something bigger. Uh, making a living in the art world is the trickiest part that no artist likes having to deal with. Being an independent artist basically means you're a one-person company. My advice for anybody who wants to get into being an artist and, and to really do it seriously, know what you're getting into. It's not all just the fun part of throwing paint on canvases. It's the bookkeeping, it is the marketing, it is the sales. It puts it just two inches off the right. surface so you get all the really cool shadows. Shadows are great. I love these. Right. It's all in the life of an artist. It's not the career choice for everybody, but it's the only career choice for some. To be honest, I've been kind of kicking myself that I didn't find this sooner. <laughs> and I think that's one of the reasons I work so hard is I'm trying to play catch up a bit. Because there's so many things I want to do that uh, I'm just trying to get them done. And just like Bruce, some will do whatever it takes to make their dreams come true. My mission is to keep doing what I'm doing now as long as I can. You know, I'm pretty happy.